Do you think our love would be blind if we did the experiment? Good morning, guys. Right now, I am actually committing a cardinal sin, and I'm starting out this vlog the same exact way I started out last vlog. I really try to make an effort to switch things up so that when you click on my videos, it's not just the same exact thing every video, but honestly, I don't know. It's very early, and I just wanted to start out this vlog with some news I got last night that has, like, seriously... I don't know, it just absolutely shocked me. Um, I was scrolling on Instagram, or actually I wasn't even scrolling, I just went on Instagram one last time before bed, and I saw a picture of John Lomax, who was one of my former coworkers. He worked at Local 12 for decades. He was on the morning team, he was one of the anchors, and he actually retired a month before I left my job at Local 12. So when I saw the photo, I was like, oh wow, they're bringing John on, like he's making a guest appearance, that's awesome. And then I read the caption, and learned that he actually passed away yesterday morning which he was only 72 like it it's like it's like absolutely shocking he was one of the nicest humans i have ever met like having him on the morning show with us was just like such a blessing he was not only the nicest human i'd also the most genuine but also so funny and so real one thing i immediately did because i know he used to send me so many like messages on Twitter. I instantly searched on my Twitter and sure enough, there they were, which as a reporter, just hearing like a, a good job or like even just any recognition about what you're doing means so much. Like if you were an anchor listening to this, I can't tell you how much that will mean to your reporters because oftentimes, I would think to myself, like, is it even worth it? Like for me to go the extra mile, for me to really put in a lot of effort because it felt like no matter what I did, it was the same result. Like I could, I could give 50% or 200% and like, it's, it was just a minute on TV. It felt like no one really cared. Um, and that, that sounds, you know, like I, I'm not trying to like be like, oh my gosh, like I need all of this praise, but it just meant a lot when he would send those messages and that was just the type of person he was. And I can tell you, I can guarantee he wasn't just doing that for me. Like he just, he went out of his way to like make people feel better. So anyway, I just, I really ask that you keep his family in your thoughts and prayers. This was just so unbelievably shocking to me. Meanwhile, Puppy is playing with his Superman toy. It's one of his favorites. You like Superman? And actually, you know what? I keep forgetting to do this. I've been closing the shades at night, which it's nice. Like our place backs up into woods and it's on a, like it's raised. So you technically can't see into our house at night from the back which is like awesome, but I still close them at night anyway, like just, just in case. Let us raise these things. It's funny, they actually go at different paces. I do not know why, but obviously it's not a big deal. It's a lot later. I've honestly just been watching Local 12 all morning, which they have just been doing the best job remembering John Lomax. And I don't know how they're doing it because some of them found out late last night, others found out just waking up this morning because a lot of people on the morning shift go to bed at like, you know, five, six, seven p.m and the news didn't break until later, but yeah, oh my gosh, wow, it has been quite the emotional morning, but I just did my skincare, which whenever I do my skincare, it makes me not wanna put on makeup for the rest of the day, because I'm just like, I just, I don't know, I like the natural, like, I go so back and forth with liking the natural look, and then another minute being like, actually give me the bronzer, the contour, the blush, the lipstick, like, I, like in my heart of hearts, like I love glam, I just like it every once in a while, but I wanted to show you guys a product that I have been using a few times a week, I think has made such a big difference in just my overall face and what it looks like, and it is called the Blue Mean Face Pro. I am so happy I get to work with them on this video. I actually first introduced you to this, like, Mm, was this like three-ish months ago? And this is the coolest thing ever. It actually uses microcurrents to tone, tighten, lift, deep puff, uh, it sharpens the jawline, reduces the double chin. I have noticed such a difference since using this. I can actually show you, like I even notice in my vlogs, like when I'm vlogging, you could see the hollows of my cheeks, which let me tell you, I don't naturally have. Like I am someone who actually has a round, more more chubby face like i've always had chubby cheeks it's just the way my face is i just have like this specific face shape but i've actually noticed such a difference since i started using this thing and let me show you how it works so you turn it on and it actually has different lights you can go through let's do this it uses microcurrents to make this happen so i've really noticed a big difference i really do try to go in like this area that's what i'm really wanting and then also 
I always like having like, you know, a little bit of a jawline. Who doesn't want that? And I've been doing it for just three minutes, three times a week. It is so simple, fits right into my routine. I do it right after I do my skincare. And I'm not gonna lie guys, like I was down to try it just because I had seen how many good reviews there were but I didn't necessarily have the highest hopes. I just, I don't know. I just didn't know if this was possible for my face shape just because of what I just told you. But I am happy to report it actually has been working. You can actually smooth it up. And I know you can hear the vibrations. That's part of the microcurrents, but it's actually warm right now with this light. Like there's so much going on in this little device. And obviously the results come with time, but even just right now, I feel like you could tell this side of my face visibly lifted compared to this side, which now, okay, let me even them. That's like my pet peeve. I'm like, these must be even. As for the cost of the device, normally it's $150, but the first 100 people who use the link below will get it for $70 off. And you'll also get a free ebook of face tightening secrets, which this thing is sold out a lot. As of right now, it is in stock. And as of right now for the first 100 people, that offer is live, it's available. I cannot recommend this tool enough. The other huge thing is if you don't see results, you don't have to pay any money. And I love companies that do that because it just goes to show like they stand behind the product and results are there. So I'm gonna have that link below if you guys wanna give this a try. I know the whole like snatched jaw, snatched face, high cheekbone thing is like such a trend and it's very nice that there are tools like this that can help people like me catch up to those trends a little bit. Just got to Neil's. It's the most beautiful day ever in Cincinnati. It's like, I think it's gonna be 72 degrees. Like right now it's like 68, 69. And we just love coming here with Neil's backyard, hanging out. I looked at his schedule and I saw he had off from work today, which was nice. <laughs> Asher loves hanging out with Tim. And then, all right, it's okay, Artie. We're trying to be pals. It's okay. It's okay, Arthur. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. That is such a good boy. We're being friends. He like loves me and then I walk away and then he hisses. It's the weirdest thing. It's okay. Um, but I'm so hungry. I'm so excited. I stopped at, I think it's called Green District Salad. It's in downtown Cincinnati, which downtown Cincinnati when the weather is nice, everyone's just walking around. Like I love Cincinnati so much, but I am hyped. I've only had this once before. Zach and I got it like last fall, I think. Oh my gosh, it's like heavy. It is a build your own salad, which is the best kind. I kind of just threw a little bit of everything on here. I think we've got carrots, croutons, peppers, tomatoes, grapes, cucumbers, lettuce, obviously, and then chicken. Is that your stick? What? You have the biggest stick? I'm like, I have problems. Too wrapped up in the camera. <laughs> I'm too wrapped up in the camera. <laughs> I'm back home. I just want to say if you guys are in the Cincinnati area or if you have a green district in your city, because I know it's like a chain, it was so good. Like it was 20 times better than I imagined. So filling. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have not had a salad like that in forever. Um, but also I literally feel like Asher's gonna die. He is so tired after today because we also went on a long walk, just us. But you know, it's good for him. He's gotta He's got to get out and about. The other thing I wanted to say, this is also random, but like just, just a little reminder that this exists because I forgot it existed. Pasta salad. It is so freaking good. I think it's like as it's getting warmer outside, I'm craving this because there's something, I mean, warm pasta, you know, it's obviously has that like warmth to it. Obviously, what am I saying? I just feel like pasta salad or macaroni salad, all of those, but I can't have macaroni because of the uh, mayonnaise. But these remind me of summer and it has been so freaking good. Like I've seriously just been eating this right out of the container. Maybe that's not the best, but I don't know. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, and one other thing, you're a little bit lower because one of the books I was using to prop you guys up on I want to talk about. I have discovered what might be my new favorite thriller offer, offer, <laughs> author of all time. I'm currently reading my third book in a row by him. It is just 
it is unbelievable. It's called Home Before Dark, so I guess I can't give any you know, reviews on this, but his name is Riley Sager. I'll pop the two other books I read on the screen by him. This one right here is, I mean, it was five out of five, like one of the best books I've ever read. This one was four out of five. It just, it, it was just lacking. It, it's not even that it was lacking. It was so good. It's just the other one was so much better in my opinion, but both of them were amazing. I just love the way he writes. His writing is very like, um, what's the word? Spooky, like more spooky. I read a lot of psychological thrillers that are like more in the brain, but this is like true spook, almost like I've never read Stephen King in my life, but it reminds me of that. That's the stupidest statement ever. I've never read it, but it reminds me of it. But like, you know what I mean? Like horror. Stephen King is obviously known for horror, but Riley Sager, and that's actually not his real name. It's a pseudonym because whatever his real name is, his books hadn't been selling as good, I guess. And the way he explained it is, if you're an established author and you're just like selling okay, the publishers don't really push you out. They really like to push out new and upcoming authors. So he changed his name, debuted as Riley Sager. They pushed out that one book that just went crazy. And ever since then, Riley Sager is everywhere. So I really love him. And then I also just picked up this one by Lucy Foley called The Hunting Party. I post this on my Instagram stories and a lot of people said they really liked it. So I am excited. I always feel so weird. Please don't ever get offended. Like even people in my real life will be like, oh my gosh, like I recommend this book or I love this book. I feel so awkward whenever I hated it and I bash it on my <laughs> reviews on my Instagram stories. It's no offense. Like we all have different tastes. I'm not like, I'm not bashing you. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm always going to be like dead honest on my Instagram stories. If I don't like a book, I don't like it. If I like it, you will know. So anyway, just wanted to give this wreck if you're looking for a new thriller author, because it's so fun when you uncover a whole author, because then you get to dive into like all of their books. If like it's someone like Riley Sager, who's consistently good. And let me tell you, he has been consistently good. I want you to stay like that. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? <clears throat> what my healthy snacks is water, nuts, coffee, and protein. Or I work out tonight. Yeah, I'm on a health kick, YouTube, thanks. Well guys, you know a lot of times we do the whole Zach versus Clancy and you guys have to settle the debate. I am very curious where you guys are going to stand on this situation because there's just no way. I have one food in this world that I tell you to please not bring into this house. Dude, would you like to? And not even one You food. have 12 allergies. No, Zach, there's only one that traumatized me. There's only one. It's not even, you can have others in this category, but not this very specific one. YouTube, anytime I have any of the food in this category i get in trouble so don't let her trick you no if this one that bothers me cashew nuts you can have i tell you have all the almonds you want in the world don't eat them Dad, i'm not, just, I'm not so, making you cashew chicken i am so like, allergic and you know what happens you're gonna touch them and then you're gonna you're gonna kiss asher and then i'm gonna kiss asher no i don't make out with my dog like you <laughs> <laughs> you sniff his butt and do weird stuff so no you're not at risk of that so you're well, safe it's contamination Zach. yeah i well i promise you you're safe that's been six years and i've eaten cashews and you haven't no yet. you when you loved me you didn't bring them home <laughs> oh well, they're about to get snuck in your food asher dad doesn't even love me no more Oh my god, he is, I mean, Zach noticed the second he got home. He is just so dead right now. It's okay, you're gonna be okay. We've got a very important date right now. Do you wanna do it now? I'm do gonna it. watch like 20 minutes now and then I'm gonna go. I love how I say do it as if it's an activity. It's watching TV. It's literally watching TV. Love is Blind reunion. Can't believe I'm on the Love is Blind train. I'm telling you guys, if you were not a believer like me, Season six is where it's at. There was just too much drama and too much juice for me to not watch and I really got hooked and now it's a reunion and I am so freaking excited. Good morning guys. Hello, here's my face. I just got back from a little early morning grocery run and I am so excited for what we are about to concoct. This was like my all time favorite breakfast growing up as a kid. I literally had this like every day of my life. Obviously like we switched every once in a while, but for the most part, this was just like my go-to. And as you guys know, I've been dabbling in cereal lately. I did Raisin Bran, I did Cheerios, and then I woke up today and I'm like, let's do the classic Special K and Wheat Germ, which I have never met anyone 
who had eaten this. It was my dad who like came up with the combination. I don't even know how he came up with it, but we literally ate this every single morning together. I have actually a picture of myself. I'm eating my cereal wearing a helmet. Like we have no idea why I felt the need to do that. But yeah, that's just proof that this has been, uh, this was a childhood staple for me. I'm adding in some soy milk. When I was little, I wasn't eating soy milk, but obviously I have to now. Give it a little a little mix. And then are you guys ready for the secret ingredient? I literally don't remember what this tastes like. I have not had Special K or wheat germ in over a decade, I kid you not. But this is wheat germ. Like I couldn't even tell you what this is other than the fact, oh wait, I remember when you open it the first time it like pops. Yes, oh my gosh, I remember this. I can't even describe the taste to you right now because I don't remember <laughs> what this tastes like. I just know I loved it. All right, this is the moment of truth. And the problem is if I hate it, I got the value box of Special K. I can never resist. Like if I see the value size of something, when you do the math, when you crunch the numbers and you see the unit price. Anyway, okay, let's see. I'm like nervous. I forgot what it tasted like. I can't even describe it. And I will warn you, I don't necessarily want everyone to go out and buy this because I don't know if this taste is for everyone, but it is everything to me right now. And I think it's just so nostalgic for my childhood. Wow. I texted my dad and he said, geez, I must have eaten that for about 10 years without fail. And I, when he says without fail, guys, like that means he never missed a day. I am not kidding. You guys know my dad. He picks something and he eats it for like a decade. I just got to Home Goods. Don't mind the hair, by the way. I just curled it quickly before I left for later and I need it to fall. Gabe and I are going to be recording our second episode of the podcast. I'm super excited and oh my gosh, by the time you guys are watching this, the first episode is out. It would have come out yesterday morning. So I'm going to link that below. If you guys like it, be sure to subscribe. I think that's like the lingo in podcast world. I'm still new to all of this, which is very exciting. I feel like with YouTube, it's kind of like, um, it's like a fine oil machine by now. Like not much has changed in the past few years. It's kind of just like the same software I use, the same, I don't know, the same everything. It's really fun to have this whole new platform, this whole new system for editing. And then with our Instagram, like getting those like if you've gone to our Instagram, you've seen like the snippet, like it's just been a lot of fun. So I'm very, very, very excited. I didn't have time to do my makeup before I left the house, but I wanted to go to Home Goods because I am so sick of sitting in my house and having like the winter decor. I just, I need spring. It's, it's beautiful. It's like 60 degrees today, which at this time of the year, it's always like not good because, um, basically it's, we have severe weather warnings today. It's only like a two, I think two out of five. So it's not awful, but whatever it is with this time of the year as the weather starts getting warmer that's when we have a lot of problems with that but i'm just i'm so excited and i don't like i don't plan on i'm not going crazy i want to spend less than a hundred dollars for sure i just want to pick up a few like bright things to bring some color back into our house which i am so excited about i have to say like it's very hit or miss sometimes i walk in there and i want to buy the whole store other times not so much so we shall see I just got back from the stores. I actually went to Home Goods and at home. I just like, I always need to see like the full selection. But guys, I had such high hopes for this video. I thought we were going to be decorating for spring. It was going to be awesome. You saw this morning, I was wearing just like a, I don't even know what you'd call it, just like a very light shirt, no jacket. Um, everything has changed. And I knew it. Like we were, I knew we were going to get this whole like thunderstorm warning today. Right now we're under a watch. I mean, you guys know how bright my house is. I feel like it's like the reason we picked this house. It's like so light filled. It is just in the middle of the day right now. Let me see, let me back up so you can see like, it is so unbelievably dark in here. Yeah, I feel like now you can get more of an idea. Actually, let me even show you our bedroom, which does get light. And I just went in there and it's like, oh my gosh, pitch black. Like what the heck? Oh, don't mind. Don't mind our mess, we are doing some laundry, but insane. And luckily Asher so far does not seem to be bothered by thunderstorms, but obviously 
if we were to get a, if the watch was moved to a warning, we would move to the basement, of course. But even though I'm not gonna be decorating right now, I do wanna show you some of the things I got. I know this kind of thing is in everyone's style, but I love color, especially for spring. Like I feel like everyone loves neutrals. Neutrals are so pretty. But for me, I love for like the base of my house to be neutrals and then I add pops like this. I saw this at Home Goods. it was so cute. I also got these for our, uh, what are these called? Kitchen towels. I thought these were so cute for spring. I know it's very, I know this isn't everyone's style. It's like very, what's the word? Almost like girly, but like, I, I don't know what to tell you. I love it. I got two sets of these. I thought these were so pretty and these can go on the bookshelves because I need to do the whole bookshelves thing once again for spring. I didn't see too much there. So I still need to go back out and go shopping, maybe hit up Target. Um, what's that, like Hobby Lobby. I also got this. I thought this was just so pretty. And I need to like mix and match and figure out what I wanna do with everything. Oh, and then this was just like seven bucks. I just thought it would be really cute, like, ooh, um, on our like kitchen, like just like in back, like by the backsplash. I just thought it was like a cute little something something. And then at at home, I thought this was really cute. I feel like a lot of the things I got are very similar. And then this might be a return, and that's the thing. I don't necessarily plan on keeping everything. I'm a very big buy and then return later type of person. I thought hanging something like this up on our mantle could look cute. Cause it looked so cute for Christmas when we had the garland. And this is obviously like very springy. So we'll just see if this actually works or not. And then the last thing is this really cute and inexpensive lamp. I actually just got finally like an entryway table that I'll be putting together, hopefully like tomorrow maybe. Um, and I thought this would be just like really cute on it. And Gaby actually, pushed back our recording because she had an appointment that went later than she thought. It was gonna be at 2 p.m. Now we're recording at four. So like I have all of these hours to be productive, but honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna sit on the couch and read if we're being realistic. I don't know what it is. Like I need to get better because it can't just be like, oh, it's raining. So I'm not gonna like, you know, be productive. Like, well, like, no, but I don't know when it's dark like this. <laughs> It's just the vibes are just so immaculate. But I wanna show you, I did just get an exciting package in the mail. This is actually a brand that I worked with last year and this is not sponsored at all. I just really am in the market for more of this. This is like one of my all time recommendations, guys. Like I was actually just talking to Carly about this who was in the market for a new bra. Bras are just like, it is just such, I don't know. And I know there are people who are like, I don't know, if you're like an A cup, I guess you don't have to like deal with this at all. But if you have any sort of something, like it's just a nightmare because either they're just wired and uncomfortable or there are like weird pads that you, like that I just don't like. Or my mom one time convinced me to get one that was like unpadded. Let's just say you could see a little something something right here. Like you need a pad in order for, you know, I really did not like that. But I discovered this bra last year. It, it's like, it's just been a game changer for me because it's comfortable, it washes well. I hate when like you throw in a sports bra and the pad comes out, like the pad stays in there. It's very comfy. And this is what it looks like. Now it doesn't go under every single shirt, right? Like I'm trying to think like a spaghetti strap shirt. Obviously you're not gonna be able to wear this, but I'm wearing it today, for example, just under a sweater. It is the comfiest thing I have ever put on my body. There are no wires, nothing like that but these pads just make it so that you're not revealing a little too much. So I just got like a double set, like they have like a deal where if you get two, it costs less, cause these are not cheap, but it's just so worth it for me. I got it in nude and then I got another one in black, which black is the one that I have on right now. And it's like one size fits most. So you don't even like pick out a size or anything like that. This is just what it is. And I have loved that. And also, I don't know about you guys, but like the idea of paying for shipping is upsetting to me. So I always, like if I don't hit shipping, I would rather buy a whole new thing, which like the logic kind of isn't there. But, and I didn't want it to be expensive because this is an expensive site kind of. Um, I just decided to get these like silk scrunchies to hit the shipping. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I got the large. Okay, so I got this. And then this. Hello, it is a lot later. The sun is out, the warnings are over, all of the watches, the warnings. They're actually, I know there was at least one confirmed tornado, just not in my direct area. I think it's like, I don't know, at least 45 minutes or an hour away. So we are safe. I'm about to record this podcast episode with Gaby, which we're very excited about. We decided to ask each other questions. We each came up with 20 and I'm really excited to hear Gaby's answers. Like I asked her some knowing like there's 
some things I want you guys to know about Gaby. And then there are other things I'm like, I don't know what her answer, like I don't even know, like I wanna know this. So very excited for that. And of course we have got our live studio audience. He is just so happy to be here. What is one regret you have from college? What are some tips on like how you find that balance? Who is the most famous person you have ever met? It's a lot later, our podcast recording was a success. I don't know if you could hear that. Zach just sneezed. He is home now. Um, but that was even more fun than the first time we recorded, which the first time was like amazing. So I'm just so freaking excited for you guys to hear it because as of now, like we've recorded two, but none are out. Like we haven't gotten any feedback. So I'm very excited. Also, we are open and wanting like feedback of, you know, neg not negative, constructive criticism, constructive criticism. Because one thing, we realized we did a lot the first episode was like talking over each other, not in a weird way, but sometimes when Gaby's talking, like I want to give encouraging, like, uh-huh, uh-huh, but that's just so annoying for a podcast. So we're getting better at that. Are you ready for the reunion? We watched almost all of the reunion for Love is Blind last night, but I believe we have like 13 minutes left. What are your thoughts on what it is like thus far? It's good. I don't know anybody's names, but it was juicy. I mean, only one love was blind it seems do you think our love would be blind if we did the experiment based on like the sound of your voice yeah and what you say mm -hmm. and that's all i get to go off of no photos and photos would help <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh because why you tell me <laughs> <laughs> Our love would be so blind. Right now, I am making soup I bought at the local market that it's frozen. It sounds crazy. I like didn't even know this was a concept, but it actually tastes so freaking good. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will once again have the link below for the Blooming Face Pro. And I'm really excited for you guys to try it because I have been loving it. But on that note, I don't know why I feel like I'm like out of breath right now. I feel like I've just been going up and down the stairs so many times today. Um, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.